Hello all, this is TechGeek311 here with another how-to video for iOS 7. Today we're going to cover Notification Center and Control Center. Okay all, today in this how-to video we're going to cover the new settings and new features of Notification Center as well as the newly developed control center for iOS 7. So on the front screen of the, of the iPhone you'll notice or maybe you won't notice there is no little uh, lines on the top for notification center and no little lines on the bottom so when I pull from the clock you see how I'm pulling down there's that little line you're gonna get the notification center now we're going to go to the today list first. Alright, so in today, you're going to get, of course, the day of the week, the um, month, and the day. Underneath it, instead of getting those uh, weather digits, they're going to give it to you in words. Then below that, you're going to get your calendar list, starting off with the current time. You're going to get tomorrow's events, if you have any events. Now, the second tab is going to be the all tab. Okay, now you can also see that it's transparent. So anything here, this is going to be the All tab. You'll get all your notifications in this one place. But it's transparent because you can see what's behind all the applications that I have. If you've got a missed, same thing. Any notifications you've missed will show up there. Now, you don't have to tap on those tabs. You can simply slide your finger and it'll move from each one. So you have those new gestures. To get rid of Notification Center, you can either tap your home button or grab the little arrow on the bottom and flick it back up. Okay, now from here, we're going to go from the bottom this time, and we're going to pull up. And if you notice, there's another screen just popped up. And you can see the transparency as well. Now, this is your control center. This is brand new to iOS 7. Alright, starting with the top left icon, you're going to see the little airplane. That's to turn on and off your airplane mode. The one next to it, that's your little Wi-Fi, to turn your Wi-Fi on and off. Next to that is going to be your Bluetooth. You now have control your your Bluetooth on and off. The little moon, that's going to be your do not disturb. So if you want to manually turn it on, instead of having to worry about your settings, you can turn it on from here. And then next to that is the orientation clock. This is going to uh, lock your orientation either in portrait or in landscape. And then below that you're going to get your brightness slider. So you can change your brightness. Below that is your iPod. So now your iPod's in here. Instead of having to do like you did before where you double clicked and, and had the slide on the bottom, your iPod shows up right in the center. Now below iPod you're going to get the new feature of iOS 7. It's called AirDrop. Now AirDrop, which I don't have another phone or anything to show you how it works, but pretty much it says you can make yourself discoverable to either everyone or only the people in your contacts. So you have the option of turning it off, contacts only, so just your contacts within your vicinity can receive or you can receive items from them or everyone that's around you that has iOS 7 included. You don't want AirDrop, they have that cancel button on the bottom, you can just cancel your and keep your changes the same. Now, next to that you're going to see is the airplane mode, or not airplane, but actually uh, airplay. If you tap on airplay, which I can't right now because I'm using it currently, then you can do your streaming on your Mac, on your Apple TV, uh, whatever it is, speakers, that's your airplay. So you, you're going to have that one also within Control Center. Now, on the very bottom, these four, uh, I wish they were customizable, but they're not. They, they do give you a dedicated flashlight. So that's, another, that's an advantage there. You get your flashlight. You get your dedicated um, timer, alarm, world clocks. You get your calculator. So you have calculator for fast access. And you get your camera as well. So instead of having to use the camera from the lock screen, which you can't open uh, control center from the lock screen, you can use your camera from here. Alright, so I'll bring that back down. So now anything that comes in, any notifications, you can pull down to get your notifications and if you need any fast controls pull up and you get your control center 
Okay, and so if I lock the phone, and let's open it back up to my regular page, same thing. Here's your notification screen, and if I pull up from the bottom, there's your control center. You notice how it takes the color of whatever the screen is. That, that is such a, a cool feature of iOS 7. They're very transparent. But if you really look closely, if you look on the bottom, you're going to see a little line. That's what you're actually pulling up, is that little line. Okay, now you see how I got a notification in here? So now I don't have to unlock my phone. All I do is pull down, swipe across, and there's my notification sitting under all. Go to missed and I can see what I missed. And I go to today. Haven't even unlocked my phone and I can access everything from there. You can delete it, you can uh, go into it, whatever it is you want. Okay, so that's the new notification and that's the new control center for iOS 7. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button below. Uh, give me any comments if you got it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll come back with you guys with some more how-tos. Thanks for watching.